Yeah, I, I put this comment from Tate up here for a reason, okay? Because he's, he was kind of going where I was going next. You, you can say, okay, Alabama had 17 penalties, missed the field goal, whatever. Well, f- well first of all, it's Alabama. But second of all, y- you didn't play with Tillman. You didn't play with Jalen McCullough. Um, and that's, I mean, and, and here's the and, and here's the, the third point that he brought up. I, I thought what my prediction before the game was that if Bryce Young looks like Bryce Young, Alabama will win the game. If Bryce Young does not look like Bryce Young, Tennessee will win the game. Well, here's what happened. Tennessee didn't have McCullough. It didn't have Tillman. Bryce Young had a performance for the ages. That's going to be kind of a secondary bullet point in all this because of who won. But that kid was – I mean, that play that he made where they drew the penalty, it wasn't even a completed pass. He's like, which running one? around <laughs> like two <laughs> up and keeps the drive alive. They get a PI. They score later. Like That won't even go in the stat sheets as a, as a completion, but that was an incredible play. I mean, all the stuff was there for Alabama. Like, you, you got Tennessee's – Four-year, I don't know if he's a four-year starter, but he's close to it. Safety out. You got its best receiver out. Well, I guess it's best receiver. Again, that's up for debate. And you had Bryce Young looking very good. There were there was a throw or two early that I wondered a little bit, but when the adrenaline kicked in, he was the dude. Yeah. You you yeah. fumbled the ball at your 10 on a botched handoff. You still got the win. Yeah, that's the thing, is right. Like I, our expectation coming in was, we were. I kept asking you the question. I was like, man, I, he's probably going to play, but like, there's no way he's going to be at 100 percent, right? And and I still don't know if he was. But guess what? What a thing we said too on the live stream was, we're like, if Bryce Young's 75, percent he's better than probably most people. St- like he's just he's just that good. And I mean, they kept using the word magician. Like that was the the most accurate thing to say, right? Like it was just like magic at times where this guy's just out here making these plays. And I don't even know how you even respond to that. And it's, I saw someone put up on Twitter, like, you know, if you're watching this as an NFL scout and you're seeing everything that this guy can do, find me somebody else that's as appealing as Bryce Young in terms of just his yeah. playmaking ability under center. Um, you know, Tennessee fan, you'll say, well, hit it hooker because they found a way to, to win this game. But the quarterback play on both sides, just remarkable. Like I said, I know, um, you know, you can look at the couple of those mistakes on hooker side, but Tennessee still finds a way to come back on that last drive, makes that big throw, um, gets it down to field goal range. And yeah, I mean, just the, my goodness, the quarterback play on both sides in this game. And that's why you have the reigning Heisman. You have the guy that, like you said, that's going to be now right there in terms of how the rest of the season plays out with hooker. He was already in that conversation. Um, just, just remarkable, remarkable play from um those two guys in particular but obviously there was a lot more to it uh, so 